Hey guys, Ryu here with another vid for Blender. This one we're gonna be talking about probably one of the least known cutters in box cutter, which is called Recut. And it's extremely difficult to explain, it's but just better to show you. Now, box cutter and hard ops have a lot of hidden gems, and you know, it's really good to know them. And occasionally, I drop a video that you know shows a really quick tip because really they're just fantastic, and you never know when you're gonna need them. So uh, let's create a cube very quickly here and make it a little bit longer on y-axis. Also, let me just enable screencast keys. Are they enabled? Good. So now I'm going to go to a side view and I'm going to slice it with an end gun. Okay, so I'm going to grab an end gun and slice it like this. Okay, and uh, there we go. And I'm going to also recover this angle here. So I'm going to fix the auto smooth value. So I'm going to press Q and shift click on sharpen and move my mouse to the right to snap this edge here, see that uh, auto smooth value is just shifting below 30 degrees. Cool. So now if I wanted to, you know, cut this shape and recover the bit that was actually cut, what I could do is, for example, I could recover the cutter, so ever scroll, and then switch this here, for example, to box, and I could just simply slice it, right? And this would slice the cutter, which would basically recover the shape. Now, the problem with this one is that this is an integral part of this main mesh. Now, what if I wanted to have it, you know, sliced? If I, if I, you know, use a slice in here, okay? If I use a slice on the mesh, right? It's just gonna slice the mesh, but it's not gonna recover this missing bit. And that's where the recut comes in, all right? So the way recut works is it slices the mesh and then recovers the cutout bit. So if I'm gonna run a, you know, cut in here and then press X to change it to slice, and then I'm gonna press Alt X you see what happens, right? That's what happens, right? So um, the, the Alt X, it's enabling recut. And now you can actually recover the cutter. So you can click on this one and recover the cutter. And you can array this right here. And you're going to get something like this, which is pretty cool, right? And then, of course, you can keep slicing that shape. So, for example, go and gone. And we could slice this shape here. I'm going to select the cube in the middle. There we go. And we're going to slice this like that. Press B for Boolean, for bevel, I mean, and cut it. And you got something really interesting very quickly. Um, you know, and this is this is an individual shape. So when you apply this, right, you can do all kinds of funky stuff with it, right? So you see, um, um, Recut is an extremely powerful tool. Um, and uh, can save you a lot of time and headache. And it creates, you know, a shape that's basically flush with the main surface, which is really important, okay, so it's the same size. This is how you do it. This, if you need this kind of a shape, you just simply enable Recut by pressing Alt-X during uh, the live slice operation. Links to hardops and box cutter in the video description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.